forward folds. Nine. A and B. Swing us at the hips. This is the more advanced version. So when I say it's advanced, anybody can do it still. It's just that we're going to go into some of the flips and some of the more dynamic movements. So basically we start out in a folded leaf. So in a folded leaf, our arms are completely relaxed, our head is relaxed, our knees are bent. You can also have straight legs just hanging down towards the ground. But we're completely relaxed. We're letting the swing hold us, and we're feeling this long length and stretch through the side body. That's the benefit of the forward fold. Okay. Now, the, the grounded version, to get the hamstring stretch, is either the feet right underneath the body or the heels come up and we energetically ground. So we can grab from the ankles. You guys are taking notes, right? We can grab from the ankles. Or we can just let the upper body relax, depending on the tightness of the back body. When we move into down dog, we're going to make sure that we're in a V-shape with the body. So the U is a different pose. <laughs> we're looking for a V. So heart is coming down and kissing the ground. Hips are rising up. The swing is pulling us up. And then we're energetically grounding through the feet. Nice strong arms. Pull the shoulder blades down the back towards the hips. So from here, we're going to do a leg raise. Leg comes out to the side. This is really important because we're making sure we have our anchor point at the hips. We're going to swing forward. Inhale. When we exhale, we're going to pull all the energy in towards center. So we inhale and arch. We exhale. Pull the knee in. We're doing some core strengthening, just starting out really gentle and slow. Inhale, arch. Exhale, pull in. Inhale, exhale. About five times on each side, switch sides. Inhale, arch, like we're doing the cat cow. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, up. Exhale, contract. After doing that on both sides, we're going to come into upside down dog. So we can either bring our legs wide, or we're going to practice hooking our feet. When we hook our feet, we're calling it upside down dog. When we have our legs out wide, it's called up dog. Same pose, just different foot position. So the up dog is allowing us to come into a chaturanga, where we can practice doing some push-ups. So I can actually take my arms off the ground entirely where we're going to get our hands right underneath our shoulders. This is also like a handstand scorpion. And then we exhale and lower. Inhale, come up. Notice my elbows are bending in towards the sides instead of out. Just like a chaturanga. And then the person can, because they're supported by the swing, can choose how much weight that they're going to have in their hands. It's also preparing us to tuck and come into handstand. Okay? Wide straddle handstands and handstands with the swing right. Okay? So from there, we're ready to come into the sun salutations. Now notice, I don't really have much of a break in between the routines because I, I do this all the time because I made it up. <laughs> so I'm going from a forward fold here into an up dog. I'm pressing back in my up dog a lot so I can swing forward onto my tippy toes and my hands to look up. Fold one more time and then come up into angel wings. After angel wings, we praise the sky, squeeze everything towards center. And then exhale back down. Press right back. Inhale up. Exhale back. Now I'm skipping the one forward fold in there because when I do it, 
I just play with the swing, right? When we slow it down for students, we can uh, isolate the different movements. And then I'm going to go into the band. Okay. That's awesome. Land it. <laughs> and then just end with a wide straddle forward fold. Nine A, nine B. So we also practice our reverse twists, right? So, and I plant my left hand down, then my right hand grabs from the opposite swing, opposite side of the swing. It's preparing me to spin. Okay, if it's a bit of a reach, when I plant my hand, I'm actually going to twist into my hip and then pull. If I can keep, keep my hip square, it's more of a shoulder opener. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, I allow myself to spin. <laughs> That's good for some of the flips that we do. Okay. Always allow there to be a forward fold or folded leaf to neutralize the spine. From there, we're going to go into the hand folds. So, coming back to where we were before, and moving on to our leg loops, we're going into push-ups. So, the more advanced version is to push straight up. Remember that? So I hold on to my leg loops with my hand, and then I wrap my feet, and then I just use my core and my power to lift up. Now, if I'm going to walk somebody through it, I'm going to have them start out with the leg loops in their elbow creases, lean forward, hook one foot at a time, and then squeeze the shoulders together. And when I squeeze the shoulders together, there's a sweet spot here too that we want to make sure that this is comfortable. The way you keep these on the shoulders is to squeeze your arms together. It's not by holding on to them. So just remember that's an important factor. So this is Skydiver. You can bend from side to side. It looks really cool. Okay. We're in backpack. To get into shoulder stand, I'm going to squeeze my arms together first. Don't hold on to the leg loops. I know you want to keep your knees heavy. Remember? Use your feet to tuck and then let your legs come back behind you. Once your legs are behind you, then you can grab for your ankles and do a back bend. Okay? Ladle is extra. Back bend into right, wide straddle. Okay? Let's <coughs> play around with the different versions. If the leg loops feel like they're going to fall off, just squeeze your shoulders together. Place. Okay? Now to come up, you have to do a sit-up and grab for the leg loops and use your strength to catch the swing. Once you're up here, you're balancing by bringing weight into your feet. From there, you find your leg loops on your shoulders and then you do the full circle.
hard time identifying where you are, like, in the I'm doing in the order. order. Oh, 9-8 and 9 Yeah. So, um, so okay. Describing full circle, this is something that I've got, like, Yeah, there's so many steps. Okay. So you're going to have to Okay. But just know, like, you're taking notes to go into the manual, so if I just sit, see you sit, sitting there kind of looking at me when, you know, I need you to be writing things down, it makes me a little nervous. Because it's hard for some like to know. Yes. I need to plug this in. Uh, that's charged, right? Yes. So let me borrow this cord. Inversions, and we've done the inversions so many times. Do we need to go over those one more time? Mm 